two, sorry, unit one paper. We're on question two. And it's the practice paper one from AQA. And it, this question spans on several pages, so we might have to keep referring back. It says that, oh, first of all, you note there's a little star up there. Now, that little star means that somewhere in this question, you might have to do some explanation. And they're going to assess the way you explain your working. So, either using maths, also words, they're going to assess that. So, pay particular attention and explain things really carefully. Okay, so Helen owns, owns two beauty salons, A and B, and this is salon A here. Uh, and the first question it asks is, why do you think there is no data for Wednesday? Well, it could be a number of reasons. There's a number of things you've got to think about this if it's a beauty salon. Um, why do you think there's no data? Well, one of the things I thought is that the salon is shut on Wednesdays. Okay, and that might be why there's no data there at all. There's other reasons you can have, but that seems like the most obvious one to me. Uh, the next one says, how many customers are there on Saturday? Well, we need to look at the scale going up the side. You see, we've got one, two, three, four. We've got one, two, three, four, five little squares. And um, it goes up in twos here. So halfway between is obviously going to be one. So that would be seven. Halfway is five. So every two and a half little squares, this one's three, and this one's one. You don't have to draw them all on. So if we follow this one across really carefully, well, we see it's going to come out here. If you want to be really sure, um, what we can actually do is, if we pull out a ruler, oops, if we pull out a ruler and just line our ruler up, we can see that it does come out exactly at the middle there. And that tells us that it's going to be 11, so it's halfway between 10 and 12, so there must be 11 things on Saturday. Okay, I'm going to go over the page. Now it says, um, well, Helen says that the total number of customers on Friday and Saturday is more than the total for the other days. So we just need to find all the totals. Well, we know that Saturday was 11, so I'm going to write that on top. Let's just line this one up. Yeah, that one lines up nicely on 8. So there's 8 on Friday. Uh, Thursday is obviously 5. It's just a good way to check, an easy way to check in the exam. Uh, 7 on Tuesday and you can see there's six here. Well we've just got to do a little calculation. So if we do Friday plus Saturday, the the two days, so it's eleven plus eight, you get nineteen. So there's nineteen customers on those days. If we do Monday plus Tuesday plus Wednesday, we're doing six plus seven plus five. So I make that 18, and then you need to say some st statement. Once you've shown that, and this is how you're showing you decide, showing your calculation, you just need to say some statement, something along the lines, Helen is wrong. Because Friday and Saturday, uh, oh, so sorry, Helen is right. So Friday and Saturday did add, add up to more. So all you just got to do is say is Helen is correct. Add up more than the other days. Okay. Let's go on. Right. I've put both graphs alongside each other. I've put A from the first question here. And we had the data, uh, the totals 11, 8, 5, 7, and 6. We might need those in a sec. Um, and what we're asked here, the first thing we're asked is, is the most popular day for this, uh, is the same for both salon? So on salon, B, which is this one just above us, uh, Friday was the most popular, and in Salon A, uh, Saturday was the most popular, it was the tallest bar, so it was Saturday. So is the most popular day the same for both Salons? No, it is different. Okay. And then it says, show that for Salon B, one third of the customers visit on Friday. So we need to look carefully at um, the totals for Salon B. So let's use our ruler again just to check here. That total there is 11. 
this one is 12. You can probably see it easier on your graph because it's a little bit larger, but mine's quite small so I can see it on the screen. This one comes out as 4, this one comes out as 6, and this one comes out as 5. So we're asked to show, show that for Salon B, one third of the customers visit on Friday. Well, let's find the total. Okay, so we've got a calculator, so you can add it up with your calculator. So 5 plus 6 plus 4 plus 12 plus 11. So let's see that, well, that adds all that up to, I'll make that 36. Okay, and then the Friday total was equal to 12. And we just show they're the same. Well, to find a third or something, really, we just got to do 36 divided by 3, and that comes out as 12. Okay, so we showed this Friday was 12, we added all the totals up, two marks straight away there. Let's go to the last question. The last question now says, on Saturday in Salon B, the customers pay a total of £220.50. On average, how much does each customer pay? So on Saturday, we know there's nine customers. So if the total, if a Saturday is equal to £220 and 50 pence. If we divide that by 9, which I'm just going to tap into my calculator, £220.50, let's divide that by 9, I get £24.50. Okay, so each customer on average, pays £24.50. We divided the total by how many customers are? Two marks. I'll make that the end of the question.